Today, we are taking a look at the Xbox Series X fresh out of the box. So this is kind of cool. It is a customized shipping box, complete with the Xbox logo, number of symbols, and a Series X logo on the bottom. This is the Xbox Series X, Xbox logo up top, this big black design with the vents on top, Series X logo off to the side. One terabyte SSD, 4K resolution, 120 frames per second. Uh, you know that already. Some tech data, we'll take pictures of those. You can peruse at your leisure. On the back of the box, how are your dreams? Picture of Master Chief. Would have been nice if the system had launched with Halo Infinite, but we can wait a couple more months for that. Pictures of the console on the side and on the bottom. Fine print, serial number, that sort of thing. All right, let's open it up. How are your dreams? Looks like a very small tower PC. See it from the front there. And it looks like there's not too much to see. It's uh, sleek, it's got this nice matte finish on it. Disc eject button, disc drive, pairing button, USB. Xbox symbol slash power logo. Just like on the pictures you've seen, there are some green highlights on the vents on top, which is pretty cool. The back is where it gets interesting. Looks like we have the storage expansion up on top. USB, ethernet. Oh, no, this is storage expansion. I think this is actually more uh, ventilation. Storage expansion, USBs, ethernet, power, HDMI. Simple enough. The bottom have one large rubber foot keep it safe, although I believe that you can use this in either a vertical or a horizontal configuration. Put this off to the side so you can still see it, and we'll take a look at the rest of what's in the box. This is the Xbox Series X controller. Very, very similar to what you would get with the Xbox One X, or even the original Xbox One. That black controller with power button, Face buttons are a little bit closer together this time, a slightly different D-pad, otherwise it's the controller that you know and love. There are some batteries in here. That's a point of contention among some people about the Xbox because it doesn't yet come with a rechargeable battery pack. Those are available separately. Based on my experience with the Xbox One, if you can get one, I would recommend it. Power cable, HDMI. Nothing fancy, but always good to have. Then there's a small leaflet that walks you through a quick setup, the instruction manual, and the rest is all just packing materials. So, there you go. Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series X controller. Looks like that's pretty much it. All there is to do now is to set up the Xbox Series S and we'll see how it performs. See you later on Tom's Guide.